Is the extra cost of high definition CCTV worth it? Here's a good quality 420 line analog camera. Let's see if we can zoom in on the license plate. It's very blurred and there really isn't much usable evidence there. This recording was at full D1 resolution showing the an limitations of analog CCTV. Next one's also at full D1 but using a 650 line camera at a similar distance. As you can see there's some discernible letters just about but it's by no means sufficient as evidence let alone proof of who was there. The problem with analog CCTV is that you need to view the whole scene but there isn't the resolution available to be able to capture proof. So what can we do to solve this? Well we could have lots of analog cameras along with lots of analog recording channels to cover all the detail. It's expensive, it requires lots of installation, equipment and cable and maintenance. Or we could get HD. The cameras only cost around twice as much but offer six times the pixels. Here's exactly the same view, camera angle and location. These HDSDI cameras use the same RG59 coaxial cable as normal analog cameras, but as you can see, there is far more information available. Whether it be a res registration number like this or a person's face, it's all there caught and recorded. Remember, that camera is still covering the whole scene and is not zoomed in. This is far more cost effective than having multiple analog cameras. Not to mention the saving on installation time and maintenance costs. With HD you can have the best of both worlds. One camera offering both detailed evidence and a full view, where old analog cameras required multiple units. This vastly simplifies installation time and reduces costs. At the beginning we asked, is the cost of HD worth it? Well, there's a number of approaches, but the HD-SDI approach offers full 1080p pixel resolution which is over 2 megapixel compared to analogs less than half a megapixel. This can be carried over RG59 standard coaxial cable up to 60 meters and after that you have to use repeaters or higher quality cable. Ask us for more details. So we've run some night vision comparisons as well of course infrared lighting is never going to give as good a picture as other forms of lighting. It's only a fallback measure really. This is HDSDI with its own inbuilt infrared light. As you can see the LEDs are aimed somewhat toward the centre of the picture for uh, generally the lens would be zoomed in. So we're just going to freeze uh, this picture here and zoom in, see what's recoverable from nighttime footage. There's no other lighting here at all. Uh, it's only about 75% moonlight. Uh, there's nothing else at all apart from e the individual camera's infrared lighting. So that's the HDSDI footage. As you can see, it can capture things at a distance as well. This is the analog comparison, 650 TV lines. And again, infrared lighting has its limits. We'll zoom in there and uh, see. you can see the pixelation as we're trying to capture any detail. So side by side, the HDSDI stands a far better chance of recognizing who an individual is. Of course, if you wanted full proof, you should have other lighting as well.